guys, Pope Sano here, and look, I just wanted to make a quick video on something really interesting I saw in the world semifinal game between Weibo and BLG. Now, something that lower elo junglers struggle with a lot is when the game doesn't start well, we're too rigid in our pathing, and so we're not actually able to think about the state of the whole map and to adjust our pathing in order to make sure we bounce back in the game. And Weibo Gaming, their jungler Weiwei, is really strong at being able to do this, and he actually completely saves Weibo's entire early game by making a few really smart early game decisions when the game goes horribly wrong early. Let me give you some context. Okay, so long story short, Weibo attempts an invade on Vi's Raptors, and this is a very standard thing to do as Belveth because your Q early means that you basically insta-kill Raptors. It's really common, therefore, to invade here and to force a Vi specifically who can't really contest you off of this jungle camp. Now, what makes this go incredibly wrong is the fact that BLG does a great job at collapsing all four of their members knowing that this should occur. Weibo doesn't really respect it, and the Shy ends up getting chunked out really, really badly. But I'm not really focused too much on the Shy. What I want to focus on here is the jungle start. As they're leaving the jungle here, we can see Weiwei has not even begun a camp yet, whereas Vi is already level 2. Look at this. You She's already beginning to path towards her second camp, where Belveth is only beginning the first camp. But there's a few things I want to point out here. First, ask yourself, if you were in Belveth's position, truly, where would you go to start? Would you go to your blue buff? Would you go to another camp? Would you just abandon topside in general and go to your bot? Would you maybe cross over and try to invade Vi's blue side? Seriously, think about what you would do. Because you're not just thinking about what you need to do to get back into the game, but now you're under pressure from the enemy team. They're going to try to push this advantage potentially, and you have to consider A. How can you limit their potential? And B. How can you maximize your own? Weibo shows us the answer. That was the difference. Especially when we said, hey, look, your bot lane, actually, he's going to be in a bit of a better spot than we were talking about in Graf, but you still want to try and get push on the map to facilitate this bell bet to keep invading, keep getting in the space of this Vi, but when the Shy is completely out of topside and you don't really have as much control as you'd like over mid lane as well, it's going to make it very tough for this bell bet to play out the map as she wants. At least for the Shy, there was a cannon minion there, so I mean, I think it's going to not potentially be as bad as it might have been, but 17 to 4. Okay, so now that you've seen the sequence, I hope maybe you picked up on a few things. But again, I'm just going to point out a few of the things that I noticed that I don't even think the casters really picked up on, which maybe we can give them some grace because they're talking about the whole game. But specifically looking at the jungle matchup here, 
we can see that Weiwei actually decides to start on his wolves. Now, why might he do that? Well, first of all, because Vi is level 2 and Weiwei is only level 1, he is actually at risk of potentially getting invaded by Jun if he decides to. Also, we know that the Shy got chunked really hard on Rumble early, and therefore he's kind of out of the game here. He's not going to be able to help us if Vi does decide to invade. The second reason that we start on Wolves here is because Belveth is really strong level 1 at clearing those multi-target camps, which is why you try to invade Raptors in the first place. So, A, you eliminate the invade potential of Vi by starting Wolves, and B, you give yourself the healthiest and strongest start to an already rough start to the game. The next thing I want to point out is that Belveth is aware that Vi is going to be clearing her top side before coming to her bot side. What that means is if Belveth starts on her wolves and then clears straight down, that will be four camps. That actually gives time to therefore still put pressure on the Vi before she hits level four, as you'll both be level three at the same time. I mean, how the jungle camps work is that you need six in order to hit level four. Therefore, Vi doesn't really have that tangible of an advantage if you can still meet her at level 3. Likewise, Belveth is aware of her bot lane matchup, which is something that low elo junglers still struggle with. You see, Aphelios and Milio, they're definitely going to have priority over Zaya and Rel. Therefore, if you path quickly and efficiently towards bot side, you still have the opportunity to put pressure on the spy before she can solidify an advantage over you. This is actually amazingly impressive knowledge of not only jungle pathing, but how really champions interact with one another. It's an extremely small window in which Belveth and Vi could be the same level because, you know, Belveth had to skip those top camps and Weiwei still puts pressure down. Really, this pressure alone is what solidifies Belveth, therefore, both Scuttle Crabs. And as you'll see towards the end of the clip, Belveth is basing a full level ahead of Vi. This is crazy from Weiwei, and really, really impressive. Something that if we can master in our solo queue games, I mean, we're gonna be smurfing. Well, anyway, I hope this little bit of an example of some very advanced early game pathing is helpful to you. Obviously, we're not always gonna be able to master the game like this, but it just goes to show that even if you get behind early, there are creative ways to come back. If you guys like this type of content, please consider leaving a like and a subscription. It just helps me grow. I'll see you guys back for the next one. Pope Pay out.